Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris, and today I have a little somber video for you. This is Farewell to Onigiri. Now, unfortunately, Ninja Step decided to shut down the Xbox servers effective sometime in July, and while I don't play this game anymore, I really did enjoy the game. I love so much about this game, and I hate so much about this game. So since it's going to be shutting down, I wanted to go and immortalize my stats and achievements because I don't know if I can even load the game up anymore after this. There is an offline play for it. You don't have to play online. It's an MMORPG, so it's like the always online. And But there is an offline gameplay mode, but I don't know if I'm going to play it much anymore anyway. But that being said, let's go look at our achievements. This game was very difficult to get achievements in, and any gamer score I have in this, I'm very happy with and very proud of considering. Now, the last achievement I locked was level 100, and that was in two, that was actually two years ago was the last time I locked an achievement in this game. I have played it off and on since then, but the achievements are so difficult to get that, it, yeah, it's pretty much, you're not going to get it. So I'm just going to give a quick scroll through of the achievements that I have unlocked in this game. So if you wanted to stop and look at them and compare with whatever you have, uh, then you can go ahead and see that. And as you can see, the unlock percentage for these achievements is disgustingly small 2% 3% 4% it's because this game is free on Xbox and it's again it's an MMORPG which means that it's a grind the game is constant grinding and honestly way better played with a max team of friends dang it I'm not gonna get my great success repairs oh man uh, but I played the game mostly by myself. I did play with Sam, played with uh, Dylan, and I played with a couple of people here and there, but most of the time it was just me grinding by myself. Now, I did actually contribute some money to the game. Because it's free to play, I enjoyed the game, so I did contribute money. I didn't contribute all that much, though. So this is my character, Suzuki Gonkura, which was uh, based on like, Gorilla's Noodle. I don't, yeah, I didn't make any other characters, so this is my only character that I have. And we're going to, I guess, for the last time, load up in multiplayer mode. Now, as you can see, I am level 100. And the grind for 100, especially by yourself in this game, is horrendous. Which is why I'm so proud that I actually was able to get the 100 achievement. You don't understand, guys. I would load up and play this game by myself for six or so hours playing dungeons that were... I was level 98 or 99 and playing dungeons that were level 126. Not even, in, not even hoping I'd get through the dungeon, but just trying to kill enough enemies to justify playing with multiple, um, like, 300%, 400% XP boosts. And even with the max amount of XP boosts, which stacked to, like, 3 or 350% for money, XP, and everything, it was still 8 hours a day sometimes playing this game, just trying to grind for one level. Now it seems like, oh god, the menus are so broken in this game. There's a calendar. I got eight Onigiri coins, which I can't use uh, because obviously the game is being shut down. But I'm going to go ahead and go, look at this. We got some gifties. So login campaign prize. Now if it looks like anything is lagging, don't worry. It's not the video. It's just the game. The game is stupidly busted in the menu system. And really, honestly, for everything. Um, I think that's daily or something. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. So we have all these different, like, challenges, all these quests. I completed a bunch of quests right here. Uh, didn't complete everything, obviously. Again, playing by myself makes it very difficult to complete a lot of these. But we're going to go ahead and skip that stuff. And we're going to look. I have 22 million gold right now. I'm hanging around um, Edo in Ginza. And this is the area where I would run the dungeons. I'd be running these sewers down here. Which, again, at level, like, 99, running these sewers at level, like, 123 was terrible. But I do want to pull up and show you guys my character. Right here, as you can see, that's my XP bar, which is that tiny, tiny little amount. And we're going to look at the XP points. So, that's my current XP. Now, to get to my next level, I have to get... How many zeros is that? Nine. I... Is that seriously nine? Nine number spaces? That's nine number spaces. So... Uh, yeah, it's it's retarded how much XP you had to get, considering how much XP you got per killing enemies was not very much. So currently, I'm um, running my succession is Kanshin Koji, the 184th. I don't have an affinity right now for some reason. I got about just under 10k health, which gets destroyed in one hit. I have my SP, my attack at 100, oh, sorry, 10,000, and I focus mostly on my staffs. And my wands. I believe my wands right here for healing and buffs, and my staffs for offensive spells. 
I'm look at my status details. That's all my element uh, abilities right there. My skill force was mostly f centered around being five, apparently. I, I thought I had a higher skill force for my staff, but I guess not. Um, and then scrolling down here, these are my current active effects based on everything that I have active right now. So if you wanted to look at that uh, for any reason, then there you go. You can see that. And again, my stuff is not necessarily the best. I was by no means a very specific spec. I was by no means power leveling or doing anything crazy, but this is what I had. So for my equipment, I have all my pluses right here, and those are my base stats. Again, here's everything there. And then these are the weapons. I have my Dagura Magura, or Dagura Magura, which is what I ran as my offensive staff, which was uh, level grade 100, which is nice. non bizarreable so I can't even sell that to anyone. Grade 100, gra uh, grade 38. So that was, really, that was my backup one, just in case my main Dagura got uh, broken. Uh, for Magatamas, I have an Amber Magatama with ho two Hawks, uh, Hawk eyes, Hawk's eyes. Magatama of Ecstasy with two hawk, Hawk's eyes again. Uh, I can't say it. I keep wanting to say Hawkeye. Navy Glass Marble here, which is basically just for Ice Element because I'm running a lot of Ice spells. And then Masanori Magatama, which is Spirit's Blessing and Hawk's Eye again. A lot of Slice, um, Piercing, and then Wind Elements and such for, again, the main spells that I'm running here. Which I have my one combo Swift Earth Glaive 7, Freezing Bullet 7, Frost Glaive 7, um, Aogi Gargoyle Glacial Lance and Aogi Gargoyle Thunder Lance. And yes, it's pronounced Aogi. It's, and I'm also saying with an American accent, sounds terrible, but that's how it's pronounced. I had the Schwertzkruz, Schwertzkruz, <laughs> plus 50. My Dagger Magra is plus 100 as well. Um, and that one was, again, just kind of a healing backup kind of thing. Just give me extra health because you can only go into dungeons with a certain amount of health items active at once. Um, and on top of, like, your alcohol right here, which I used to run as the Fool, which gave me more health. Um, as far as my partners go, I have uh, Shizuka was my main at level uh, 22. Yoshitsune was at 16. Mirogu was at 13. Ibaraki was at 9. Uh, Momotaru was 14. Scroll down here, we have Kaguya at 13. Susano was 15. And Amaterasu was level 10. Uh, no guest special. I have my one Yaokai Yato, who's uh, level 50, and he was always hanging around, palling around with me. Didn't have a mount, didn't have an assist. I didn't do a lot of special events. I was never really active during the events. Let's see who's in my community. I'm looking at my, let's look at my Oni Buddy. So these are all people who added me to the Oni Buddy list as we are playing. It's kind of like, you know, friending in the game. Uh, Toph Bei Fong, that's actually Sam's character from when we played. I don't remember what level she was at, but, uh, yeah, that was Sam's character. Uh, nothing going on in the party. Nothing in the bizarre player list is whoever's around me. Nothing in the system. And then there's the shopping plaza. So, basically, yeah, here's my character. Uh, what else do I have? I want to show you guys my skills real quick. And I'll show you my cosmetic items. So, we have my regular attack. How do I do my... All right, so bumpers are switch. We have Earth Glaive right there. Freezing Bullet which is nice. Uh, Frost Glaive, which was my most powerful attack that I demolished 90% of my bosses with. We have the Aogi Gargoyle Glacial Lance, which was a nice AoE demolition attack. And then Thunder Lance, same thing, but with Thunder. Those are the moves I was running. Oops, I pulled up the help menu. Never hit the back button in this game. <laughs> uh, let's go to equipment. What else do I have in my equipment? Uh, I have to wait for it to cool down. Or actually, here. Then I have my other staff right here. I'm not going to bother going through these uh, different attacks. Just because it doesn't really matter. Because they weren't my main items that I was running. I, pull, I hit the back button again. They weren't really the main weapons I was running. So we're going to go to equip. And we're going to look at other weapons I have in my inventory. Which I don't believe is very much. We had uh, Violente. Which was a bow. Because at the beginning of the game. I was in a bow and arrow spec. And now it's doing a selection glitch again. I was doing a bow and arrow spec. I was doing um, massive swords kind of thing. Just, yeah, a bunch of stuff that never really jived well with me. So this is all basically stuff that I was going to use to create new weapons or break down. So nothing crazy in there. I have a whole bunch of Magatamas with me. And that's not even to mention what's in my storage, which I believe Shizune has. So we're going to go look at that. I hit it again. I recognized I hit it as I was pressing it. Uh, clothing. And we're in Tengu items and then Sexy Dream Mocha, which is all stuff that I got from, like, random 
kind of like packs in the game. So Battle Princess Autumn Leaves. This is these are my horns right here. This is what's on my head. Some of the stuff you get from doing quests. Some of it you get in like mystery packs kind of thing. And we have Tengu over here, which is like my arms. Can't really see it that well. The red looks really cool with that. I kind of want to... It's not going to matter, but I kind of want to keep that on there. Which I believe was... Yeah. And then we have my actual kimono, which has some really cool items. But I was trying not to sexualize my character that much because it just didn't feel... It didn't feel... You know, I thought she looked way cooler, you know, in a full uh, full um, kimono. Uh, as well here, we also have the stockings and leggings. These are, I'm showing you guys my boots right here. If I can uh, rotate my character, which I don't don't think I can. Um, we have pants. Lots of pants in here. Um, holiday Santa costume. And then we have the undies, which, to show you guys that, I'm going to, for the moment, remove these. I'm sorry. You're going to be indecent. So, Airy Angel Herb, which looks like Harry Angel Herb. That one's really cool. Dusk Shinobi. Flower Cosmos. I don't even remember that one. I think that was... I don't know where that one came from. It's cool, though. Um, Knee High Pure Black. Lace Ribbon Noble, which is the one I wore most of the time until I got something better. Black, uh, basic underwear, snow doll, and then wild line glacier. Jesus Christ, I do not remember that at all. Oh my god, I'm clicking on that one. Holy crap. I didn't realize there was. I don't remember even having that one. That's insane. I hit it again. Alright. Well, now that I'm in my underwear, go ahead and fix that real fast. My friends over here. Hi, friends. Hi, Shizuka, because Shizuka manages all of my special inventory all of my my storage here we go and i have a whole lot of crap in here so this is my inventory now this is the stuff i have on me right now which is a lot of ornamentations a lot of artisan treasure swords from like crafting and stuff soul fragments goku uh sotsu magatama you have a whole bunch of like items you pick up by killing enemies random junk stuff basically just fills your inventory uh, then we have a lot of smelting items here, friendship pendants and stuff for increasing my friendship levels, Aidama, repair stuff, a whole lot of weapons in here that I was going to use for um, making new weapons or breaking stuff down, as well as special items that I wanted to hold on to, and then just a whole lot of random collectible items in here from enemy drops, basically. So that's what's in her inventory, and I don't think there's really anything else there to show. And that's pretty much it for this game um again i'm pretty sad that it's going away even though i didn't play it much anymore i still really really enjoy my time in this game and despite its broken nature despite its flaws despite all the stuff that just didn't work with it i still enjoy this game and i'm gonna go ahead and re-upload my Onigiri videos and my like uh, long plays and streams that I did in this game. I'm going to re-upload them and I'm going to put them in an on Onigiri playlist. That way if you guys wanted to watch them at all, they'll be in there. Warning, they're a little bit long, but they're there if you want them. So thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye Suzuki. I'll miss you. Bye everyone so much about this game and i hate so much about this game but uh so but while since it's gonna be you know, so since it's